this is Movie Shelter and today we will do the unboxing of Bonnie and Clyde DVD edition press kit. Let's check what movies were released about these outlaws and dive into the movie history. The first film adaptation of Bonnie and Clyde was the 1958 film The Bonnie Parker Story, starring Dorothy Provine as Bonnie and Jack Hogan as Clyde, though his character was renamed Guy Darrow in the film. The film was forgotten, overshadowed by the groundbreaking blockbuster that followed decade later. This fast-paced gangster film was considered a revolutionary and changed Hollywood industry. This made-for-TV film never got much attention. So little in fact that you can still watch the entire thing on YouTube. In this historical drama, Bonnie and Clyde meets Dracula. This straight-to-video film is about as C-movie as you can get. And with a non-existent budget, inevitably falls very, very short. The Highwayman is one of the best on the list, but uses characters only to show drama of Texas Rangers who attempt to track them down. But before Kevin Costner played Texas Ranger, there was one mini series event that was to change TV history. And in fact it did, as the series was widely criticized for its historical mistakes. This is a very rare set that was sent to the journalists. This is an original press kit sent out to promote the miniseries Bonnie and Clyde, starring Emil Hirsch and Holiday Granger. Miniseries premiered as a two-night event, airing on three channels, Lifetime, A&E and History Channel, as four-hour film divided into two parts. This series was one of the major projects that delivered 9.8 million viewers with part 1 and 7.4 with its second installment. On the top we have the spot gloss title, as we can see it's a little bit embossed. So three networks, two nights, one epic event. There are three logos of the each channel that participated in production of this TV series. On the back there is nothing, as well as on the sides okay so let's open it very similar to the set with uh, Mission Impossible here we have also the uh, LCD screen uh, which is a little bit bigger than on Mission Impossible set. This edition is much older than the Mission Impossible, so um, in case of the LCD resolution is uh, much lower than uh, that set. We need to keep in mind that this was released in uh, 2013, so the quality of electronic devices was not that good at the time. Uh, in the box we have uh, the cable, this edition was sent to the journalists in a bigger box and uh, this cable was uh, attached to the set somewhere here in this area. So on the top we have a poster. Uh, there was a lot of billboards with this art uh, across the US uh, promoting the movie. Here is a little bit uh, damaged area due to the fact that here we have this element that uh, is responsible for uh, starting the movie on the LCD, and that's why uh, frequent uh, opening and uh, closing uh, of the box making this kind of uh, damage. So on the top we have the title, here we have uh, the speaker, we have the logo which is in gloss, very nice. This feels like a little bit like leather, I'm not 100% sure. Here we have also the title on the spine and the logos. Uh, on the downside we have uh, this area to connect the cable to do the charging. So when the battery is off uh, there is no problem to charge it back again. And inside we have parts from the film. As 
well as the information about the about the event. Again. Steals from the movie. The information about the press contacts that were responsible also for creating the set. Here we have the information about uh, the characters, explaining them in the film. All the papers are made and very thick, so it's very nice. It's very hard to compare it to something. and characters about the producers and the director and, and the shot from the film. I think all those shots are promotional ones. Here, as we can see, we have damage. This is due to the fact that the last page is very heavy and it has discs. So um, this probably weights too much and this paper has uh, too much tension. That's why it was torn and probably it will be very hard to repair. But uh, due to the fact how rare this set is uh, for me, this is acceptable uh, condition. So here we have two discs. Uh, both discs are DVD with, uh, with each part that aired on the TV. Uh, this was a two-night event, so first disc is with uh, first part and the second disc is with the second part on the downside. Nothing special. And on the back we have logos. I'm really happy that I had the chance to get this edition and add it to my collection. I'm a big fan of Emil Hirsch and William Hurt, so I expect this will be a really good show. I haven't seen this one still, but uh, I think this is a great opportunity to watch it uh, for the first time. The set is really, really unique. It's very hard to find something similar on the market. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.